comfortably on your mat. And close your eyes. So let's turn the palms up today. Seeing as how we have the first day of spring about to come into our purview. Maybe just by having the palms facing up, we can receive the energy <clears throat> of the of the universe on this vernal equinox. We were talking a little bit earlier, the equinox being the evenness of the day. So 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. And each day, each day as we progress through the summer, it gets a little longer and longer until we get to the solstice in the autumn. So perhaps think about either a white or a golden light in the center of your palms. With every one of your inhalations, feel that light grow. And with your exhalation, send the energy throughout the parts of your body. And lower your chin to your chest. And then gently roll your left ear to your left shoulder. And chin to chest. And right ear to right shoulder. Chin to chest. And then bring your chin parallel to the floor. And turn your head left. And then turn your head right. And come back to the center. <clears throat> and turn the palms down onto the knees. And then you can blink open your eyes for a moment. Take your hands to the sides and press the fingertips down into the mat and release. Walk the fingers up, press them down into the mat and release. And then press, walk the fingers out, press the fingertips down and release, roll your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale your shoulders up and exhale with a ha. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up and exhale. And then just bring your hands to rest again on your knees or your thighs. And roll your eyes, make circles. And then pause and make circles in the other direction. And pause and lift your eyes up to 12 o'clock. Take them over to nine, across to three, and down to six. And then lift them up again to 12 o'clock, take them to three over to nine and down to six. And then let the eyes float back to the center and just gently squeeze your eyes and release, squeeze and release and squeeze and release. Rub your palms together and just let your hands rest on your face Letting the warmth of the hands penetrate the skin on your face. And 
and then bring the hands down, take them out in front of you and spread your fingers wide and then bring them in, and spread and close and spread and close and then open and close your hands. Good. Make a loose fist and make some circles with your wrists. And go the other way. And flip the palms up, point them down, and wave your hands up and down. Bring the palms together and interlace them. Press the palms away. Bring your hands to your chest and reach the arms up. Bring the hands in and press them away. Take the arms up and exhale to the right. And inhale up and exhale up. And inhale up. And then round your back and lower your arms. And then inhale and lift up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale and lift. And exhale, round your back. Inhale and lift up. Release the arms, roll your shoulders again. And go the other way. Reach your arms up, turn the palms and exhale. With resistance, inhale, reach your arms up, turn your palms, exhale. Inhale, reach up, turn your palms, exhale and release. And All right, and bring your hands to your shins and round your back and lift your chest. Round and lift and round and lift. And then take your left hand to the outside front of your right knee and stretch. And then take the other hand across to the left knee and stretch. Bring your arm across, the left arm across the front of the body. And then bring the right arm across the front of the body. Good. Hinge forward. Press your palms down, lift up your chest. And walk yourself up. Take the left hand to the outside of your right knee. And then take the right hand behind you, draw your navel in, soften the lower back, and twist through his chest and shoulders. And then come back to the middle and twist the arm, twist to the other side, ribs, chest, and shoulders. And then come back to the middle and once again, inch forward. Press your palms down, lift up your chest. And then walk yourself up. Take your legs out in front of you. And scrunch and spread or wiggle your toes. And then point and flex your feet. Make some circles with your ankles. And then go the other way. Bring your big toes together and then when she'll wipe your legs. Slide your heels and tap the legs. Bring the soles of the feet together. I mean, soles of the feet flat to the floor. Take your knees about hip distance apart. 
and then reach your arms through, press your fingertips down and round your back. And then extend your legs and hinge forward. Press into your shins, lift up your chest. And then bend your knees, reach your arms through, round your back. And extend your legs, hinge forward. Press down into your shins, lift up your chest. And then bend your knees. And one last time, reach through, round your back. And then extend the legs, hinge forward. Press down into your shins, lift up your chest. And then come back up, slide the heels again. And then hold on behind your knees, draw them in and take them wide. Roll the thigh flesh down to the floor to set the sit bones. And then turn, <coughs> I'm sorry. Walk yourself forward. Okay. Walk over to your right leg and stretch through the left arm. And then come back through the center and walk over to the left leg, stretch through the right arm. And then come back to the middle. Take your left hand to your right, to your left hip. Reach up with the left arm, turn towards the left, and then reach to the right. Good. And then inhale and come up. And then turn towards your left leg, reach up with the right arm, and then exhale left. Good. And then come back up to the middle. Good. Hold on behind your knees. Bring the soles of your feet together. Take your hands behind you and let the knees drop open. And then bring your feet flat to the floor, rock your knees from side to side. Good. Extend your left leg, bring the right foot into your left thigh or along the left knee or calf, wherever you can reach. Twist towards the left leg and hinge forward. And then walk yourself up. Twist towards your bent knee. And then twist towards your straight leg. And then come back to the middle. Walk yourself forward again. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg, or if you can hold on to the left foot, you can hold on to the left foot. Take the left hand. Tent your fingers next to your left hip. Press down into the fingertips and lift up your chest and then twist to the left. And then come back to the middle and come back up. Extend your legs, slide the heels. And then hold on behind your left knee and bring the left foot into the right thigh. And walk yourself forward. Walk yourself back up. Twist towards your bent knee. And twist towards your straight leg. And then come back to the middle. Hinge forward again. Take your left hand to the outside of the right shin, or if you can reach your right foot, you can hold on to the arch of your right foot. Tent the right fingertips next to the right hip, and then press down with the fingertips, lift up your chest, and twist to the right. And then come back to the middle and walk yourself back up. Extend both legs. Slide your heels 
and then come up onto hands and knees. And bring your hands to the underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Draw your navel up and in, round your back. Inhale and lift your chest and round your back and lift your chest. And this time when you round, slide your hips back first and then round and then come forward and then come to a neutral spine and reach your right leg out behind you, rock your toes. Press your heel away to stretch your calf and the Achilles tendon. And then lift the right leg, cross it over the left, bring all toes onto the floor, lift your thigh up and then turn your shoulders to the left. A nice stretch on the other on the right side of your body. And then come back to the middle and extend your left leg out behind you and rock your toes. Press your heel away. And then lift your right leg, left leg up, cross it over the left. I'm sorry, cross it over the right. Lift your thigh up, press the toes down into the floor, and then turn your shoulders. And then come back to the middle, and once again, round your back. And lift your chest. And then take your way up to standing. And let's just come to the top of the mat and do a forward fold. Use your blocks, or you can have your hands on your shins. And then just bend and straighten. And then put a little bend in your knees and inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms up, crisscross the arms. Let them rest either on top of your head or just above the top of the head. And then exhale left. Come back up to the middle and exhale right. Come back up to the middle, lower your arms, bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Okay. Now let's just get ready. We'll do our cardio workout. So as I say every week, make sure you remove anything from the floor that could be a trip hazard. If you want to grab a drink before we get started, you can do that. Yeah, here we go. All right, so we'll start by just marking time in the middle of the map. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and across. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and jab. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uppercut line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and lock. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and march. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Step your left foot back, bring your hands onto the left side, and let's tap. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then roll it up. And step your right foot back. And let's tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And roll it up. Take your weight. Take one weight. Bring it into your left hand. Come to stand in mountain pose. And let's go. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's switch to the other side. And here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then take the weight. You can either have it at the center of your body. Or lift the arms up and have the weight just about chest height. Keep the hips facing forward so you don't tweak your knees. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And then take one weight, take your legs wide. So we're gonna do some plie squats with a high pull. It looks like this, lower and then lift, okay? So here we go, make sure your feet are parallel to one another. Here we go, keep your chest lifted. One, and lift. Two, lift. Three, lift. Four, lift. Five, lift. Six, lift. Seven, lift. Eight, Lift 
nine, lift, 10, lift, 11, lift, and 12, lift. And then you can step the feet together, set your weight aside. And let's take a little light, lighter weight. Or if you only have one weight, that's fine. So take one weight in each hand. So we're going to do shrugs. We haven't done them in a couple of weeks. So this is just our second time doing them. So remember with shrugs, we're just going to keep the feet as if we're standing in mountain pose. And all we do is lift up and lower. Okay? All right. So here we go. Lift. One. So let's lift the shoulders. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. You can set those, set, you can set one way down. And then take the legs wide. Okay. We're going to lunge to the right with a weight and we'll bring it down to the floor and then lift. One. Lift. Two. Lift. We're only going to be able to do a few, few of these. Three. Lift. Four. Lift. And five, lift. And let's switch to the other side. So lunge and lift. Two, lift. Three, lift. Four, lift. And five, lift. And grab a drink. Then we'll meet at the edge of the mat. We'll start off. It goes electric, baby, when I'm turning on. Off the left, it's black time. Off the left, it's black time. 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 So let's march up. Here we go. Two, three, four, and right. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, left. Two, three, four, march it up. One, two, three, four, and right. Two, three, four, back. Two, three, four, left. Two, three, four, diagonal. One, two, three, four, back. One, two, three. Four, tap, one, two, three, four, tap, one, two, three, four, tap. You want to roll to the other side? One, two, three, four, march up, one, two, three, four, left, two, three, four, back, two, three, Four, right, two, three, four, march it up, two, three, four, right, left, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, right, two, three, four, diagonal, one, two, three, four, tap, one, two, three, Four tap one, two, three, four tap one, two, three, four tap into the middle of the mat. So let's do some hamstring curls. Here we go. One, two, 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and four. Take the legs wide. And we're gonna sweep the arms with our lunges. Okay, so here we go. Lunge to the right, sweep the arms down, reach around and up and to the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then come back to the center, heel toe, pop your feet together, march it out. Let's do a few V steps. So here we go. Right, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, jump or three, four. Five, switch, one, two, three, four, and five. And grab a drink. And just step together. Heart spread me. I wish you them today. Uh, I want to be Step together, step touch. Great mine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and come back to the middle. Step together. Let's do some pull downs, okay? Here we go. We're going to start up here, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then take it back, step behind, step, and kick. Step behind. Step, kick, step behind, step, kick, step behind, step, kick. And let's do some more hamstring curls. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It's up to step you. together, step. Step together. Great. Grab a drink if you want. Mm -hmm. 
So grab your weights. We're going to do some um, hammer curls to start, and then some bicep curls. So stand with your feet hip distance apart. And remember, hammer curls, the weights are perpendicular to the floor. And only go up to your shoulders. Don't rest the weights against the shoulders. Okay? Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn the palms forward. Let's do some bicep curls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Pick your weights that are parallel to one another. So we're going to start by having the weights together in the front. Now you're just going to lift out to the sides, but don't go up higher than your shoulder. Okay, so this gets to the back of the shoulders. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. And then take one weight and we're going to take it behind the head. Have your elbows close to your close to your ears. The weight hangs in your hand. We're just going to do some uh, tricep work extension. Here we go. Lift up and lower. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two more, eleven, and twelve. And then you can set that one side. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple things with your legs. So take one weight. I'm starting with a weight in my left hand. I'm going to step my right foot forward. I'm sorry, my left foot. Right foot forward, sorry. Okay. And we're just going to lower down. So take the left leg up and come up. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
nine, oops, 10, 11, one more, and 12. Good. You can switch to the other side. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you can set your weights aside. Take a drink if you'd like. Back. And just come to the top of your mat. Take your Good. Reach your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale and lower down. Bend your knees, plant your hands, walk or step your feet back. The downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes and lower one heel and then the other. Come up onto both toes and then lower the heels down towards the floor. Glide forward to plank. Press back the downward dog. Look forward to your hands. Step your left foot forward. Walk your right foot in so that you can place your whole foot on the floor. Bring your hands to your thigh. And then take the arms all the way up for warrior one. Good. Straighten your front leg and lower your arms. Inhale and reach your arms up. Straighten and lower. And then inhale and reach up. Bring your right arm forward, left arm back. Reach the arms up. Take the left arm forward, right arm back. And then reach your arms up. Hinge forward. Bring your hands to the floor. Step your right foot forward. Come into forward fold. Good. Inhale up halfway. Exhale and lower down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale and lower. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor. Walk or step your feet back for downward facing dog. Good, glide forward to plank. Breath back for downward dog. Look forward to your hands and step your right foot forward. Bring your left foot down in so you can get your whole foot on the mat. And then bring your hands to your thigh or you can go straight all the way up. Warrior one. Straighten your front leg, lower the arms. 
Inhale, bend your knee, reach your arms up. Straighten the leg and lower. Bend and reach up. Straighten and lower. Bend and reach up. Take your left arm forward, right arm back. And then reach up and take the right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, reach up, hinge forward, bring your hands to the floor, and then step the left foot forward, come into the forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale and lower down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bend your knees, roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And then come to the top of your mat, reach your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. And then bring your knees down onto the mat. Roll over onto one hip, and then bring yourself down onto the mat. Hold on behind your knees as you roll yourself down. Bring your knees into your chest, and rock the knees in and out. Take the knees as wide as your shoulders, Rock from side to side. And then let your knees fall away. Cross the ankles, separate your knees, make circles around the low back and the sacrum. And then hug the knees in. Let the legs fall away, recross your ankles, and circle in the other direction. And then hug the knees in and gently rock them in and up. Uncross the ankles. Extend your legs up, hold on behind your thighs. Point and flex your feet. Make circles with your ankles. And go the other way. And then press the legs into your hands. Press out through the balls of your feet. Lower your left thigh to your ribs. Keep the right leg extended. And then extend the right leg, bring the left, uh, left leg, bring the right leg in and switch and switch. Just switch a few more times. Imagine that you're climbing a set of stairs or you're on the stair climber. Good. And then press both legs up. Take the legs wide. And then use your hands to bring them in. Take your legs wide. Use your hands to bring them in. And take your legs wide. And then bring the legs in close. Bring your feet to the floor. Have your arms down by your sides. Press your feet. Press your lower back into the mat by doing a pelvic tilt and release, press your feet, press your back into the lower mat, into the back, press the lower back into the mat and release, press the feet, press the lower back into the mat and release. Take your feet slightly wider than hip distance and rock your knees from side to side. And then take your left uh, shin over the right knee. Roll open the right, the left hip. Bring your knees into your chest. 
Rock them in and out. Keep your knees hugged in and take your knees over to your right shoulder. And then come back to the middle. Lower the right foot, cross the left leg all the way over. Take your left arm out to a T and draw the knees all the way over to the right. Come back up to the middle. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Rock your knees from side to side. And then bring your feet to hip distance apart. Take the right shin over the left knee. Use your right hand to roll open and the right hip to create some space. And then bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. Hug the knees in, take them a couple inches over to your left shoulder. And then come back to the middle, lower the left foot, cross the right leg all the way over, take your right arm out to a T, and then cross the knees all the way over to the left. And then bring the feet back up to the center, uncross the legs, take your legs as wide as your mat, rock your knees from side to side. Take the knees all the way over to the right. And then bring the knees up and all the way over to the left. Come back up to the middle, bring your feet, um, under your knees, bring your arms down by your sides. If you have a pillow underneath your head, remove the pillow with a blanket. And then press your arms down, press your feet down, and float your hips to the ceiling. And then slowly lower down. When the hips hit the floor, press the arms, press the shoulders and feet down, and float the thighs up to the ceiling. And then lower down. And one more time. Press down, lift your hips. So you can stay right here. Or if you want, you can tuck your shoulders in towards one another. Interlace your fingers underneath the glutes and lift the hips. Press your forearms down into the mat to lift the hips up just a little bit more. And then release the interlace of your hands, unhitch your shoulders, bring the hips down to the floor, bring your knees to your chest and we're all coming in and out. Feet to the floor, extend your legs, extend your arms, point your toes, do a pelvic tilt, take a deep breath in, and then exhale your arms down by your sides and you can prepare for Shavasana. As you settle yourself onto your mat, let the breath come back to its natural rhythm. With each of your exhalations, let the back body release and let go. Feel the parts of the body touching the mat. Imagine that golden glow or the white light that's in the center of your palms growing with each inhalation and spreading healing positive energy throughout the body with the exhalation. Mm -hmm. 
just breathe. Now with mindfulness, begin to bring some movement back into your bodies. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And then slowly roll onto your right side. Pause for a moment and take a long, slow, deep breath in. And a long, slow, complete breath out. And then gently press yourself up to come and sit comfortably. And then bring your hands to the center of your chest and lower your head reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in the heart. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. Namaste.